Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing an office slash studio tour. I am so excited because I've worked on this room for so long. I've changed so many different things throughout like the past couple of years. Like recently, last month, we, well, mainly I, but Peter helped. Uh, we've changed this room to white walls and originally we had gray. Well, like I painted it gray when we first moved in, but I kind of wanted something a little brighter and just more refreshing. So I'm so in love with it and I love how it turned out. It's just what I imagined. And yeah, so this room is a studio slash office. Um, I do have like multiple businesses so like my inventory room for my clothes are in the other room next door but then in here I'll do like the computer work for my clothing store or in here I'll paint and I'll create stuff for my Etsy shop and just like prints and stickers so you'll see that I have a lot of printers in here and just paint supplies and I, I love the open shelves these shelves from Ikea I just I like seeing all of my like supplies just because it makes me want to create more things so I just love how it turned out and I'm super super happy with it. I hope you guys enjoy seeing how it looks and just how I use the space. It's really not too big it's just like I, I, I don't know what the size of the room is but it's not like a huge you know office or anything like that so hope you guys enjoy seeing it and if you're not subscribed be sure to subscribe and yeah, if you want to keep up to date with my new videos, I plan on doing some more lifestyle stuff in the future and maybe art stuff. Planner, definitely, because I love my planners. So I hope you guys enjoy seeing my tour. Okay, so this is what you would first see when you walk into the office. So I'm going to just start off with this shelf unit, shelving unit. This was from Ikea. Absolutely love this. Oh my gosh, it was kind of a pain to put up but I think it looks really nice and it looks really good with the white walls, so I'm loving it. On top, I just have some Harry Potter Lego sets that we did and yeah, I just really like it. I just, I'm wondering if I should glue the pieces because sometimes it's kind of annoying, like parts will fall off, but that's for another day. <laughs> um, on this shelf, I have a Totoro, which I, I've had that ever since I was little, like just a little kid and um yeah it's so cute it's a, it's a backpack and then I have some I have mangas I guess you would I guess they're called <laughs> I don't know these are like my first ones that I've ever read and I really enjoyed them and then I have Skyward by Brandon Brandon Sanderson which honestly I don't really love and I should really sell it and then I have this chicken soup for the soul of Hawaii from the soul of Hawaii which I read when I was so young and we were going to Hawaii because we, you know, we go like once or twice a year, but I just, I remember the feeling of just reading it on the plane, so can't get rid of that. Um, then I have a plant over here, don't know what it's called, love it, it's growing really well. It's just some art books over here, and then on this one, I don't know what's wrong with these plants. It's not grown very well, so those are there, just some... Uh, what do you call businessy books and dictionary then I have this plant over here uh, it wasn't doing so well at the beginning I gotta cut those plants uh, those leaves off but now they're doing well and regular pens and kind of like stamp sets and any USBs that I have over here so just like the boring office stuff and then over here is getting more fun I have some sharpies just gel pens and these were those like Fudenoske I think, Tombow, um, Mild Liners, Copics, and over here is another one which actually I, what do you call, you know when you cut it and then it grows and then you, yeah, so this is like all cut from another plant and I just have some extra Tombows that I already have uh, in my planner cart but I have some extra colors or extra duplicates of the numbers and some Faber Castells, Faber Cast, Faber Castells, um, colored pencils, and then going over here, I just have my palette. Uh, I have this little container to hold any of my gouache, and if I like mix it, I could hold it in here for a little bit. Just towels. I'll go down here too. I have some. 
hot glue guns. I just have some wipes over here. Like all different hole punches for my planners because, you know, that's a pain. And next, we have my favorite shelf, which is just my paint stuff. So I have Pasca paints and my gouaches and then just some oil paints and gesso linseed oil over here and some watercolor and below that I have uh, some embroidery things I have all the thread and have some beading stuff and this is kind of like a random box beading stuff clay stuff a stamp making kit here so just all different things there Then we get over here, which is just some all different brushes, and I love this little cup. This is from Etsy. I got it for part of my Christmas present. And down here is just some sewing products and like an iron, and then my planner caddy, which I don't really use too much now because I just plan in my office. All right, then moving along here, this is my sewing machine which I got sorta of recently I guess you would say um, and a little bit a little succulent over here and just my work mat so yes I've been loving playing around with this now to my computer space I have just some of my planners that I actually use during the day I have my iPad and I love these cups this one is from Sugar and Sloth, and the other one I found at Home Goods, and it's actually Harry Potter like official merch. And I just got a Premier League stick uh, wallpaper. I cannot talk today. Sorry, guys. <laughs> then I love, love, love these shelves. Oh wait, I want to show you. This chair is from, I believe it was Pottery Barn. I don't know if it was kids, but it's just like a blush pink swedish chair and i thought it was such a pretty office chair i used to have supplies in here but now i have like more space with the shelves that i just showed you so i need something to put over here and above my computer is this little hanging thing i had a little fern which is up here but it was shedding too much and just like anytime I would water it it would shed so I just put some Harry Potter books up there and our family friend made this it's so cute I think that was from Japan the sushi roll one I need to fill it up a little bit more on the wall so I have my Louis Vuitton planner I have my whack home which Peter got for me this Christmas and I'm absolutely loving it so nice um up here i just have like i had this hell kitty clock ever since i was little and some plants and some things we got from you know different trips i have some knitting supplies and these i love so much these are all different pins harry potter pins from different stores and i just put it on like an embroidery circle thing so I love having that really close to my desk so I could just look at it every day. And then these prints are, this was in a sugar and sloth box I believe, this as well. Also I have some more pins over there from like Animal Crossing things and most of these are from sugar and sloth. Then I have this big boy over here. So this shelf holds all of my like printers and everything so I have my Epson scanner and my laminator I have my silhouette I have a laser printer just a regular printer and then I have my what would you call it sorry the dog's barking I have my just Canon printer over here I feel like it's barking he's talking he's talking uh, I also have my planner cart and just easel over here. So this, whenever I take the time to plan, it has my stickers, has some pens, Tombos that I use, um, more stickers and washi, and just like actually all the planners that I use. And yeah, so these are like all the sticker books I have. 
And then over here, we're almost at the end, I have some uh, just paintings I did a long time ago. And then an aloe. I have my, what do you call this? Guillotine. And then I have these Alex drawers, which hold mostly just paper for printer, like all different sticker sheets, all different weights of paper. And some packaging supplies are in here as well. So that is my office. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you are not subscribed already, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.